Hi, boys and girls. Do you remember I was making this flower just a minute ago? And I'm making another video so that you can see it and see the center part, how it's folded, and there's the little stamens. Let me see if I missed anything at all. You go ahead and look at that. There's ground roots, stem, leaves, petals, and stamen in the center. Now, the best thing to do is to compare it to a picture that has those labels on it. And I think that's what I need to do is to look and make sure that I got everything on there because it's good for you to go back and look. Oh, there it is. There's like the center that has all those little things on it. See? And the center can have lots of details too. Okay. Let me find one that might be showing the yellow a little better. If it's got a yellow center. Oh, apple tree blossoms are good for that. And let's see. And then the flower becomes the seeds eventually. Um, let me see where that would be. Oh, this book has a lot of pictures. And do if you look at the um, video I made with this book, you will find uh, which seed is the biggest seed that we know in our area, our country. Um, and it's maybe not what you think it is. Let's look at these flowers. You can see some of the centers are the same colors as the lily here. See how they have kind of a lighter orange or an orange and it gets a little yellow pollen on it and the butterflies are searching out the pollen as are some other animals crawling through, probably looking for seeds. So I'd like you to look at that um, today or tomorrow. It's Thursday. I'll put this on tonight, so maybe tomorrow. And I want you to make your flower. Now I'm going to label the parts of this flower and I'll show it to you in a minute. Okay, boys and girls, I have now labeled everything. There's soil, the brown dirt, the root system, and the roots are what sucks up the water for the plant and the minerals from the soil for the plant to grow nice and strong and healthy. And then here's the stem, and these are leaves, a leaf, and then the flower itself and the petals. Now, see the petals are flying away with a breeze. They, they go willy-nilly through the sky and land where they will. But if you want to, you can find a book or look at my book and label the inside somehow, maybe just an arrow pointing to it um, with a little marker pointing from a label. If you have labels, that'd be great. If you don't, well, don't worry about it. Just write it next to what we have there. So. If you would make a flower, now you can make any kind of flower you want, but I would like you to show the inside part, the petals, the leaves, the stem, and the root system. And that's how we make the different parts of a flower. And I think you all know those, if you do a garden, you know that there's many parts to it. And then you have to worry about if the bugs are going to come by and eat them. So you may have to put um, other flowers with them. Sometimes you put... Um, I can't recall the name of the flowers. There's a certain kind of flower. And if you have the answer, tell me tomorrow at school or, or on Monday. Um, what are the flowers that keep the bugs away? Farmers will put certain flowers down rows. And um, it might be zinnias. I'm not sure. But there's certain kinds of flowers that keep the bugs off of the fruits and vegetables and other flowers. So for some reason, the bugs like that kind of flower. And the farmer puts them in so it'll stay off of his crops. There you go. So there's your parts of a flower. Happy planting. I think tomorrow I'm going to bring an avocado seed or Monday and we're going to see how it starts a root system. It's kind of an experiment to see if it will work. All right. Have a good day and we'll see you with our next one. Oh, and by the way, you have another piece of blue paper and on that other blue piece of paper, you can turn it this way and you can plant a whole rainbow garden on that paper just for fun.
to see if you can do many different kinds of flowers in a rainbow garden. You could even attach the two, the two blue pieces of paper together if you want a super duper big one. You'll just have a big garden this way and then it'll fold up and you could show one side for a little while and then show your big garden. Um, but I'm not going to do the big garden right here and now. But I'd love to see what you can come up with because I know, boys and girls, you are very creative. Have a nice evening or day, whatever you watch this. I hope you're watching. All right. Bye-bye.